Yes! I moved heaven and earth so I could be back just in time for the teacher's rep meeting. Miraculous Ladybug fans are eagerly awaiting the premiere of season 6. With all the twists and turns throughout the former two seasons, whatever comes next has big shoes to fill. New villains are destined to take Paris by storm, a refreshed team of heroes ready to take them on, and uninhibited romances blooming throughout the city. Marinette and Adrian have managed to usher in a new era of peace now that Monarch is finally defeated, which means an entirely new story arc is about to begin for Miraculous Ladybug. One of the new changes will likely include a group of new characters who can help push stories along and improve the narrative. In today's video, we're reviewing a list of potential new characters who could appear when Season 6 premieres. Children are our future. If we want it to be bright, we must help each child to shine. Number 1. Lila's Real Family Lila's always been a master manipulator. Within her first week attending College Francois Dupont, she has everyone wrapped around her finger, convinced of her mountain of lies. She's good at what she does, and when Marinette finally reveals the truth about Lila's intentions in confrontation, she has no problem starting over with a completely new name and social identity. In the previous episode, Revelation, the audience learns that Lila manages numerous lives and alter egos based on the lies she tells. The primary alter ego is a teenage girl named Cerise, who attends a different school and maintains a friend group. Interestingly, Lila also has three different mothers shown throughout the series. Each is fed different lies from Lila to make her separate lives seem more convincing. At the end of Recreation, Lila enrolls in the new version of College Francois Dupont under her alias Cerise. It seems impractical that Lila could have three parents and separate lives. Assumedly, she tells her mother's lies to excuse her extended absences from home, likely including her former modeling job with Gabriel. However, the series hasn't explained how Lila ended up in such a complicated situation or who her real family is. Next season, we may learn more about Lila's biological family, with members making reoccurring appearances. My family and I just moved to Paris. Is it still possible to register at your new school for the upcoming year? Number 2. Felix's Father Once a secondary antagonist who seemed content to ruin his cousin's life, Felix has become a fan favorite and a true hero. When his character first appeared in the series, it was impossible to guess his angle or what he hoped to achieve. However, his antagonistic behavior makes more sense once it's revealed in representation that he's a Senta monster. All of Felix's poor behavior and betrayal of Ladybug was to protect himself and his future. With the Peacock Miraculous under his control, Felix can ensure that he and other Senta monsters will never be abused like he was by his father Colt. In representation, we learn that Felix's late father believed Felix was evil and responsible for his life-ending illness. As a result, Felix was treated terribly until his father's death, when he achieved his amok and gained free will. As a hero, it seems like Felix will become a main character in Season 6, meaning more about his backstory could be revealed. Since Colt was such a primary factor behind Felix's character and actions, he'll likely make his first appearance in Season 6, albeit through dreams, time travel, or flashback sequences. You will give me your best knight to guard my future son. In exchange, I will lend you this magic amulet. Number 3. The Order of Guardians The Order of Guardians is nearly as old as the Miraculouses themselves. The ancient order includes hundreds of carefully trained monks dedicated to protecting and maintaining the Miraculouses. Their responsibilities include keeping them from harm and finding the perfect wielders during times of trouble. Unfortunately, the Order and the other Miracle Boxes were lost for a century after Master Fu accidentally unleashed an angry Senta monster in their temple. After the dormant Senta monster is rediscovered 100 years later in Feast, Ladybug and Cat Noir defeat it, restoring everything Feast had consumed in the past. The Guardian Temple reappears in Tibet alongside the monks and Miracle Boxes who live there. In Furious Fu, the former guardian of the Chinese Miracle Box, Su Han, appears. He he keeps a watchful eye on Marinette, constantly ensuring she's taking care of the Miracle Box. However, he is the only Guardian to appear in the series. So far, no other Guardians have appeared in Paris to help defeat villains or inquire about the missing Miracle Box, meaning they could be waiting until the sixth season to make their grand entrance. All I wanted was a nice little companion I could send to the kitchen to fetch me some rice balls. Number 4. New Kwamis one of the primary gimmicks of Miraculous Ladybug's later seasons is the recruitment of new heroes to Ladybug and Cat Noir's superhero team. These new heroes included giving the Kwamis within the Miracle Box more screen time, showcasing their unique personalities and superpowers. However, by the time recreation ends, every Miraculous receives a permanent wielder, meaning no new heroes will likely appear in Paris, especially from the Chinese Miracle Box. However, there's still potential for new Kwamis, heroes, and powers to appear in the series. The Order of Guardians have numerous Miracle Boxes under their protection, and one has already appeared outside of Paris. 
In Miraculous World New York, we're introduced to Jessica Keynes, who becomes the wielder of the Eagle Miraculous. She convinces the guardian of the Native American Miracle Box to work alongside her to find new heroes. These new heroes and their Kwamis could be the first to appear in Season 6, serving as an introduction to new hero groups worldwide. Why don't you stay here? We could create a new generation of heroes together! Number 5. New Students at Collège Francois Dupont in the epilogue sequence of Recreation, Miss Bustier has an interview about her role as the new mayor of Paris. Within a few months, her environmentalist efforts have turned the city into an oasis. She and Mr. Damocles also work together to recreate Collège Francois Dupont, turning it into an education center where students of all ages can attend and focus on their primary interests. In the sixth season, Marinette and her friends will likely use the school to work towards dreams of fashion design, journalism, and everything in between. An education center with such an open experience would likely attract students from all over. Collège Francois Dupont, or whatever its new name becomes, may have hopeful students lining the street, hoping for a chance to attend. Some new students could become series regulars as enemies or friends to Marinette and the other characters. In a recent post by Thomas Astruc, the creator of Miraculous Ladybug, he confirmed that characters with disabilities will appear in the series. These prospective characters may be new students also searching to fulfill their dreams. In addition to new students, the school will need new staff members to help educate and provide for the surge of attendees. These teachers could have specific skills in workshops about art, writing, politics, and so on, giving the school structure similar to a career center and university to an average high school. In this new school, there will be no classes or struggling to get good grades. Children of all ages will be able to intermix. Number 6. Previous Miraculous Wielders the Miraculouses have existed for centuries and had countless wielders who used them for good and evil. Throughout the series, we've received glimpses of these heroes and villains through history books and artifacts in the Louvre Museum. However, in the episode Reunion, Marinette gains the ability to speak with the former wielders of the Ladybug Miraculous using her Quagatama. She uses it to summon Joanne d'Arc, who tells the story of her former life and relationship with the hero, Dark Grimalkin. Due to Joanne's experiences as a Miraculous wielder hundreds of years previous, she had different opinions about how Marinette should behave and interact with Cat Noir. The ability to communicate with past wielders opens the door to a realm of possibilities, including more miraculous stories from different times and places. All miraculous wielders can connect with their predecessors, provided their Kwamis have gifted them a Quagatama. Ladybug and Cat Noir are currently the only heroes with them, meaning their predecessors could appear in Season 6 to answer their questions and offer advice. However, now that the other heroes have constant access to their Kwamis and Miraculouses, they will likely each receive a Quagatama, allowing them to connect with the former wielders. If more than one hero unlocks this ability, numerous new characters could appear throughout the season, with heroes and villains going back generations appearing to offer the sage a word or two. What is your name, you clumsy young holder? Miraculous Ladybug wouldn't be the same without its significant range of characters, and there's no shortage of them to go around. In a series constantly introducing new heroes and villains, adding some variety could help improve the story exponentially. By introducing new supporting characters from school students to extended family members, the main characters like Marinette, Adrian, and Lila will have others to fight for and against. People are nothing without those who help shape them, and the same is true for the tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. The people they've met in their adventures help them become incredible heroes. Glad to see you again, m'lady. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Yes, but he's sensitive and devoted. Um, are you hearing voices or something? Actually, I'm talking to Joan. <laughs>